What is going on, football fans? Just wanted to get another video up on the page, specifically about the New York Giants. And this video today is going to be about a former New York Giant, Landon Collins. Landon Collins has made a lot of headlines the last couple of days. Last week, really. Last couple of weeks. He has really, really shown a hatred towards Dave Gettleman and the New York Giants. Um, and that's not uncommon. A lot of former players have come out and said they don't like Dave Gettleman. Steve Smith when he was with the Panthers. Josh Norman when he, when he was with the Panthers. Um, you know, and now Landon Collins. And I'm sure there's other players as well. But I think his reasoning for not liking uh, Dave Gettleman or thinking why Dave Gettleman got rid of him is absolutely wrong. Let's go back to Collins' beginning. Landon Collins was drafted by Jerry Reese. He was probably one of Jerry Reese's best picks during his tenure here with the Giants. He got him in the early second round. Um, and he was a great player early on in his career. There's no doubt about it. His second year, um, he could have easily won defensive player of the year. That's how good he was. And he was the best player on that team in 2016, the team that went 11 and five. He was our MVP the first half of the year. Specifically, he was on another level. Now, I think some of his success, and I'm not taking anything away from him, had to do with the help he had around him. The Giants had a very good pass rush that year. They were in the top half of the league with JPP, Olivier Vernon. Um, they had a very good secondary. Janoris Jenkins that year was one of the better corners in the league. So he was not asked to do things he wasn't capable of doing well. He was asked to do what he does best, and that's an in-the-box safety, a guy that makes big hits and comes up with big plays. And that's what he's great at. The last few years, as the older talent has gotten worse and regressed, his deficiencies were exposed. And everybody knows at this point that he struggles in coverage. Um, and all you got to do is go back and look at that 49er game. George Kittle tore him to shreds. Now, he said that the reason that we got rid of him and Dave Gettleman didn't bring him back was two reasons. He said it was culture change, and he said um, that he didn't fit um, James Betcher's defense. I'll start with James Betcher's defense. I don't think that he... I think he does fit the defense, and I thought that going into last year that he would play that money back a role very well, and I think he could if they had the right surrounding parts. The problem is they didn't. He got exposed because their defense was horrendous. They couldn't get any pressure on the quarterback. They finished 29th in sacks, and their secondary was awful. Janoris Jenkins got burned time and time again, and he, Collins was asked to do more things than he's capable of doing, but I don't think the reason they got rid of Collins had anything to do with the fact that he didn't fit the system. I think if they got the right players around him, he would have performed very well for the Giants this year if he was asked to do the things that he's best at. As far as the locker room cancer thing goes, the culture change, whatever you want to call it, I don't, I'm not in that locker room, so I can't speak on that. The only thing I could speak on, and, and he said that they also got rid of Harrison and Vernon because of that, I completely disagree. Beckham, you can make an argument because Beckham, I don't know how he is in the locker room and people, the players come out and say he's great in the locker room, but Beckham, we all know, does things that he shouldn't do, whether it be on the field or off the field. Uh, Collins, I never got that impression, really. Um, I, I don't think that's why he's not with the Giants. And I, it's the same thing with Snacks Harrison, and it's the same thing with Vernon. The reason those guys are not with the Giants has everything to do with the fact that they're not living up to their contracts. Well, Collins, of course, signed a new contract, and he's not worth it. If you want me to be completely honest, the guy is the highest paid safety in football. He's not that he's not that good. And in my opinion, and in Dave Gettleman's opinion, we all know the way that Gettleman wants to build a team. It has everything to do with the trenches and the quarterback. Look at the offensive line. Look what he's invested. He's paying Soldier $17 million a year. He's the highest paid right ta uh, left tackle in the sport, or at least at the time that he signed the contract. And, of course, Zeitler. I think Zeitler's making 10 So just between them, that's $27 million. That's like 15% of the cap just on those two players. So he believes in investing in the offensive and defensive line. And, and just look at the draft picks. Look at his early draft picks. Uh, he signed a defensive tackle this year in the first round. Last year, he took Hill and Carter in the third. Um, you know, and the offensive lineman, of course, Hernandez last year in the second round. All of his draft picks, early draft picks, for the most part, outside of Saquon Barkley and Daniel Jones, um, have been on that offensive and defensive line. That's where he thinks that you should build a team. And... He looked at it like, why am I going to pay Landon Collins $16 million a year, which is what he got, highest paid safety in the history of football, when I could get a very talented young safety in a Jabril Peppers and pay him pennies on the dollar? That's what he did. That's the reason Landon Collins is not here. It's as simple as that. And I'm getting sick and tired of him saying that it has everything to do with culture change and he didn't fit the defense. No. You're overpaid, and quite and, and teams don't win when they pay safeties nearly 10% of the cap. It's as simple as that. The way you win in this league is building through the offensive line, the defensive line, and the quarterback. You have to get pressure on the quarterback, and you have to protect them. And 
it's very nice to have a great safety, um, which I use lightly with Landon Collins. I don't think he's a great safety. I think he's a good safety, but he's definitely a very good player. Um, but he's not worth the money that he's going to get. It's as simple as that. That's why he's not a giant. It's the same reason why Josh Norman was released by the Panthers. It's the same reason why Steve Smith was released by the Panthers. It had zero to do with culture change. It had everything to do with the fact that Dave Gettleman did not um, see fit to pay those players the amount of money they were going to command. Um, Steve Smith was probably based more on age. Now, Steve Smith, of course, played very well for the Ravens after he left the Panthers, and most people probably didn't see that coming. Um, but Josh Norman, not bringing back Josh Norman, I think was a good decision. Um, he's still a good player, but he's not worth what he's getting paid. That's for damn sure. Um, so I agree with Gettleman not bringing Collins back, and but not for the reasons that Collins is saying. And Collins is saying he's got it circled on his calendar that he wants to play the New York Giants. He's got it circled for the next six years, and he should, I guess. Use it as motivation. You love being here, and you feel disrespected that you weren't brought back. But you know what, Landon? I can't wait to play you either because Evan Ingram is going to eat you to shreds because we know how you cover. And if you're asked to do that with the Redskins, you can't do it. It's as simple as that. Um, but I'm getting sick of it. I'm getting sick of Landon Collins. As much as I loved him as a New York Giant, you know what? He's a Redskin now, and it's time to move on, and it's time for him to move on. And he's kind of proving that he is a locker room distraction. And I never really thought that with the New York Giants. But this guy now is a new member of the Washington Redskins, and all he's been able to do for the last week has been badmouth his former team. Why don't you get to learn your new teammates? Why don't you become a positive uh, you know, player, a leader for that franchise? Instead, all he wants to do is dwell in the past. And he's a distraction for both the Redskins and Giants fans, to be honest. But um, I just want to get a video up on the page because at this point I'm getting a little ticked off at Collins. I'm, I'm getting sick of reading about how he hates the New York Giants and Dave Gettleman and this and that and the other thing. And I just want to make a quick video on it. As always, if you liked what you watched, please subscribe, drop a comment, maybe give me a little thumbs up. Cheers.